And welcome back to episode four of our Jelly Frost Frostpunk campaign. So we did survive the storm and we are here. Quite a few people ill, but things aren't the worst in the world. We have most things back on track. We do need to get some people into the coal mines. We need to maximize that. Do we have both of these stocked up? We might as well maximize what's in what. I think we do need to get people into the coal mines. It is a priority. We do have a lot of sickness absences, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> the infirmary will start healing people though. There's people inside the gathering posts. Um it's gonna sound crazy, but <clears throat> it makes more sense to have you know the coal mine just directly getting things out. It'll be more useful. We do also have to have the steel places working max as well. So actually let's get those engineers out and put them in there. Because I'll need as much steel as possible. We've got quite a lot of wood, we should be okay for a while. Research wise, improved heaters will be useful, definitely. Um, just to keep us going, keep people from getting sick, and I think house is a very expensive to build. We don't want to go there yet. Improve heaters. I don't think we can actually do that yet, can we? We haven't got the we haven't got the steel for it. So the engineers might as well be outside of them. Turn them off. Turn them off for now. Let's get the. Oops, we might as well get the engineers in there collecting coal. Oh. Actually, we need our beacons. Ah, oh, Christ, I need people on the beacons, don't I? Just thought that. So where can I get bodies from? Oh, no, I've got too much stuff being done and too much stuff being used. Um, Obviously, nothing's coming out of the woods. Uh, what workers in this one? Where are the workers? Right, give the workers back. Um, Take the engineers and children from that. Oh. um, we need to find somewhere where there's a worker spare. Child, engineer, no. Uh, they're engineers. Got engineers here? Um, oh no, one sec. Maximize that. Ah, god damn it, one sec. <laughs> Just juggling things around is a pain in the ass. We take one of the children away, put them in the mines. This sounds so much worse than it is. Actually, no, it's about as bad as it sounds. Now we can get the beacon up, I believe. There we go. And children's mine we can get stuff fissured rock very dreadnought i could do with shipwreck camp oh this is another settlement is it um well go one go there i guess and then let's get another one up there and if they go to fissured rock and see if we can get more supplies and there we go we should be okay now we've turned the couplings off steam level two is fine for now we are making we're collecting quite a bit of coal i believe uh, not as much as you'd think, actually, because things have been turned on, things are working, which makes sense. But is that because they're not actually... Oh, I just thought, because all these are off, because I'm a moron, once again. What should... I think, is it Z? Uh, v, to turn the back... Oh, wrong buttons, I don't know. I always forget which button it is. It should tell you the hotkey. No, it just doesn't. Turn these on, and we should be collecting quite a bit of coal. Go kitchen on. Lumberyard doesn't need to be on at all. These are all on, I believe. Quite a few sequence absences. Um, we'll turn these on, but obviously there's nothing in them at the moment. So everything should be working. Right. Now we should be building quite a bit of coal, which is great. Steel's coming in. Have we actually got enough steel to research now? <laughs> Improve heaters, employ engineers. Right. We do need some engineers working. Um, get them back. Get them back, because technology is how we're going to win this. By you know, getting to the next level, I think. But do they use two coal per hour whilst running? So they use more heat, but they keep people from getting sick, which is good. It's important. It's going to get down to minus 60 as well, so we could probably do with them. Oh, there's no one in the gathering as well. Christ almighty, we need more bodies, or we need automation, or we need something. This is a pain in the ass. It's a real pain in the ass. Uh, we've got coal coming in quite heavily, but we do need some people collecting the coal. It's pointless. What's the pile at? 470. Well, might as well turn that off. Um, just get some collecting whilst, whilst it's going, I guess. You know, it can be of use. Uh, are they not making the food? Being lazy? You should be making the raw food. Oh, you've got a sickness absence. Maybe they do. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to do then. Things aren't looking good. 
this should be working fine let's bring back in waiting for workers oh, it must be an absence then um is there anything else we can do to get some up let's let me borrow a few children put them in there get them working make it a bit of food but people will start to get hungry improve he is right resources efficient gathering that can make them more useful steam coal thumping out uh, food and shelter that's less engineers in the infirmary that's good that'd be quite good we can actually afford to maybe build another one then get more people fixed discontents going down which is good get sermon popped so everyone's got improved heaters which is great for them means they'll be oh god you are very warm well that's the infirmary that i want them to be comfortable in the care house that's fine so the improved heaters though does mean we'll be burning through a sugaring hell amount of coal coldy sugar nuts that is a lot of coal to burn through that is not good at all um yeah i didn't plan that one very well then we'll turn them off for now we don't need those improved heaters on what you're doing um, that makes a big difference having heaters on and off now doesn't it makes a hell of a difference uh, people are getting healed though which is good uh, i just need more bodies as well more more bodies would be fantastic at this point Hell of a lot more bodies to be fair even though starting hunger if we don't start working quicker uh, the hot house is oh man i'm a freaking douchebag i didn't even realize that had been closed that's off anyway, the steam hubs are over off. I need to be careful of some of these things. I'm just a moron. Oh, that's closed as well. I am an idiot. <laughs> just to let everyone know, I am a moron. <laughs> but these, these signs are right in front of me and I joke for and just miss them all the time. We've got two more people to trick around, have we? Um, for now, I'll go for the steel then. I think it's people getting healed or something, or maybe out of you know, not being completely screwed in the infirmary. Right. Fissured rock. Isobelisk makes rock. Go for the isobelisk. Work shift begins. Good. Start collecting up. Start collecting fuel and resources and all that crap. Steel's pumping in. Good stuff. Wood's going to be gone for another four days, really. Is, it, is that all wood facilities? Providing 70% less wood, which is awful. Ooh, what was that? Something just popped. What's this? Let me click it then. Choice. Some of our group of preachers here have talked to you about the public penance law you signed. They think it goes too far. We all agree the penance should be a choice, not a duty. You can't force people on it. I know what's right. Discontent will rise. I know what's right. I am the Capitan. Boom. Right. I want to go to the drawing boards. That would unlock massively powerful things. Can we even eventually make steam calls? Hmm. You can eventually produce steam cores in the factory. I thought maybe. Infirmary checklist, all some cool stuff there. Resources, sawmill range, coal mining. Yeah, let's go for the strong stuff. We're going to go straight to the next level while we can. And try and get some kind of a you know boost to coal mining or something like that. We do need steam cores there massively. Time to rest. We're doing okay. We're still trudging through. We've got tons of food coming, which is great. Oh, no kings, only men. Convicts were widely used on frost, frost land to build generators. See by false promise of amnesty and return home. Most of them were worked to death, carried on prison ships from one construction site to another. But these were when we met here rebelled. They killed the guards, took over the ship, and set their own settlement away from London's power. The whole is ship heated by steam boilers, protecting them from the storm. They gave us some modern steel just for real and use trade with us in exchange for improving the living conditions, developing the sermon. I will take those resources gladly, you scumbags. And I will go and loot some other places. Because the resources will come in massively useful in the long run. So we'll keep going. Uh, survive the next storm. We have got people going hungry, but we've got a lot of food coming in. To be fair, that produces 30 a day. That produces what's that? Hot house will produce one raw food. That comments. What? Let me just double check. Hot house producing daily game 36, hunter's hanger, field kitchens, munch it, cookhouse makes quite a bit. Um, 
we could do with more bodies before we've got five people available so we crap it we see right so we've got coal come in let's get the thumper up well the gathering post up actually because the thumper pile the coal piles were quite high we're all right for food people are working hard i think people aren't starving or dying or anything like that new this is good yeah, they should be okay it's gonna get chilly though isn't it as we get off of the chilly don't want people getting sick though really it's very it's very um cold and efficient to have all the heaters on but we've got to start hopefully with the next tech level we'll get some benefits people are getting better though which means we're getting maximum amount of stuff out of things which is really good things are swarming in we also need to get houses which will keep people a hell of a lot warmer but that's a big investment houses are so we've got to be really getting on the resources right where are they spot the frost land column of crawlers Ooh, if that's like big machinery that could be steam things steam cores yeah i know it's getting colder right things are cold things are very cold i know i know things are cold close at this time of day what temperature is it freezing sugar nuts can build steam hub yeah and then it's not ideal to use them is that freezing as well yeah they're all freezing well that sucks a massive turd oh they are still working so they're not freezing that much i thought they were freezing oh they're chilling well that's fine that's not going to get turned on though when it's been used right that's closed no more bodies available we're doing okay we've got enough food coming in resources are still pumping now you definitely are getting turned on does it actually want on much it does but it's very costly these things suck coal like mad we need to start stacking up for other things right that's been researched coal mine rationalization coal mines steam coal mines in advanced coal mines will produce 10 percent more efficient that's useful <laughs> what else we got additional scouts we can go factory they can build automatons we just don't have enough steam cores to actually make it useful advanced heaters heat oh heaters will burn less coal bang that is massive there's also generator efficiency the heater one though is big and very useful and we also have house infirmary checklist right i want to go for the heat efficiency upgrade that is massive we'll use that that will save us a crap ton of coal oh you oh you're freezing there okay Because each heater does, you know, it takes quite a bit. Heaters only work though during the work hours, I believe. Let me just check. Raise it while people are inside. Okay. It's too cold per hour, though, so you see, because it can get icy. Um, we're doing okay food. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep at it, keep at it. It's going to get colder again in a few days. Let's heat some homes. Keep them heated for two days. Ugh. No, I'm not addressing it. It always screws me over the heat in the cold homes, so I'm just not doing it. Kind of a dick move, but it's what it is. We could do more survivors, to be fair, to get working, produce more stuff. More steam cores would be fantastic, though. It'd really solve a lot of the issues if we had them. I'm hoping we get some soon. There we go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Wood, that's not bad. Frozen late lying rock. Um, we'll go for Frozen Lake, why not? Keep going. When that drops too, that is going to be terrifying. That's minus 80. That's going to be basically like being in the storm. Almost as bad. Oh, we've got another body. That's it. Another body has appeared. Get him in there. What are they? Coal and steel. Coal and crawlers. Ah, that's crap. Yeah, that's not great. Um, nice rock and there we go and there we are making some progress but it's not great to be fair right heat efficient upgrade that's massive now because all of a sudden we'll be stacking loads of coal um trying to think what's useful generate a range we can't really afford to do half of these generate efficient upgrade would be useful factory prosthetics and automatons hmm 
trying to think what we can actually get house, but we can't really afford to build that many houses. For now, let's go for generator efficient. Ah, oh, it's 50 wood. We're running low on wood. That sucks. I tell you what, we can't do most of these things at the moment, so we have to wait for more wood. So we might as well shut these down, get the engineers out of them, or we'll stack them in the collection facility and get them collecting as much coal as possible for the storm. We should be collecting yeah, crap dumps of coal, that's good. We can actually have things nice and warm. Um, yeah, it's not going to be great though. We are going to probably freeze a bit. Still on level 2 though, we've stuck to that. I could just do with a massive bump in heating would be fantastic. I mean, this is stops in two days, so we should get some wood eventually. Could do with some steam cores though, because if we can really upgrade the mines and stuff, we'll need less people on certain jobs, which would be good. <coughs> um, oh, the list, public plan. Sir Manners brought a long list of names tiled. A registered, a registered infidel as buggers, seducers, strumpets, and other wrongdoers. He swore in his soul that the information is accurate and that all he wants is for them to repent and see the truth. Discontent will fall, hope will fall. I'm going to ignore it because I have a feeling that it's going to screw all my workers over. And we've got to think about survival at this point. We definitely do. We definitely need to think of survival. Ooh. There we go. Stop. Stop. Explore the frozen lake. Stone arch. Okay, nothing major. Which you could do with some steam cores, but it's going to get struggled big time. I think we do have. Um, what's it? Trying to think about these things steam hubs. We have one there. We have one around there as well. We have that, that helps. But oh, the actual steam hub to actually cover the coal mines. We get both of them done. We can if we build a road there. Get that built on it. Oh, I can't get both of it. I'll leave it for now then. That road will still be get built anyway. Won't hurt anyway. Won't hurt us too much. It's a bit of wood. We'll survive. And hopefully we can keep stacking cotton. The storm is always on us. Shite. That ain't good. The wood thing really hurts. Having the random hazards, but we have settlements, is probably not worth it. Random hazard is way definitely not worth the amount of stuff you lose from that for a game from having settlements. We have to bring these workers back soon for sure. We're using normal rations as well, standard meals as well. That's pretty good. Oh, sermon, do it. What's this? Grumpy old man, sir. A crowd has dragged an old man from his house. They're going to force him to submit to the opponents. Repent you, rep. Someone shouts, maybe this will teach you to keep your foul mug shut. This man is known for his sharp tongue, but we have no reason to doubt his piety and loyalty. Disperse the crowd. Do it. Beat them, faith healers. Beat the living crap out of them. What's the stockpile? We are stacking quite a lot of food. I uh, can't remember the resource up yet, but we'll have to start bringing our scouts back soon anyway. Oh my god, with that and the storm hitting, I don't know if I'll be able to survive. It may be the end. Jelly frost. Come on, keep going. Oh, there we go. Explore. Round rock, round. What is that? Wrecked steamer. One day, four hours, and how far is it back? 23 hours to arrive. Oh, my stomach just rumbled. Do we have time? One, two, three. Ooh, no, we probably don't have time, unfortunately. Just come back with your resources. It's too valuable. We don't want to lose more people. We could do with the resources for now. What we have, so we have got quite a lot of coal coming in. This is going to make us very cold when it comes. What we'll do with these, um, that's a put on the 10 hour work day, put them on. We're also going to have this one put on the 10 hour work day. And hopefully, that will be keeping them warm enough. With that and that, coal wise, we probably might hit a deficit with those um, them being turned on, but we're going to need them on. Is that one still on? Oh yeah, that, that's keeping them going, which is fair enough. It's going to get really freaking cold now. This content has risen. There we go. They came back. Oh, that's Mace Rock. Explore. 
They return to Slurth's huge crate. How far away are they from it? 18 hours. Huge crate, 20 hours to arrive. Do it. Risk it for a biscuit. I think you can make it. It's going to get cold. I know, I know. The freezing nuts off. Right, so they're freezing. They're still alive. That should help them survive the cold. It's still producing. It's still making me cold, isn't it? Yep, it's still producing. So we'll take it. That's freezing cold. So it can't produce food unless we put it on the 10 hour work day, baby. A 10 hour work day. Put it on that. Now we've probably not making as much, but it's about. Just keep going. And they're all freezing cold. Jesus Christ. I know it's cold. I'm doing what I can. Oh, we've got loads of steel, but we haven't got any wood because of the stupid hazard. Some of a bitch. Storage near capacity. I know. I haven't got enough wood. Some bitch. Is there anything we can help? They want steel, but they also want wood. Go suck a nut. We just have to take the hit for now. A lot of people died. Oh no, day 33, another person died. That's a shame. Is that not working? Really? That's not warm enough? It's too cold to use the infirmary? Get the heater on, you idiot. Should be common sense. So Mars threw himself into the generator. His widow is here. She said she said she's looking for answers, trying to make sense of it. He was a quiet man, never said anything against you, Captain, but now some people claim he did it in protest, your religious reforms. The priests say he wanted to show his devotion to it. I don't know what to believe. Why did he do it? You're the protector of the truth. The clerics are right. The clerics are right. I am the protector of the truth. I am Sir Jellybean, Capitan of the truth. I am the truth. You goddamn weasels. Right. We will do a mini override just to keep people warm for the night. Keep it going. We're doing okay. They've returned with wood and steel, you absolute beautiful bastards. Thank you very much. Disband. More bodies for the meat grinder. And put them there. Put them there, sound. We did get some wood. Because we want to. What did we want to do? I forget. I completely forget, to be fair. Um, I just don't know. I, oh! We can build a steam coal mine. Well, I mean, yeah, I could have done that ages ago. I should have done that. Bunkhouse. Oh, I'm wondering. What's it? I could have sent a construction team about some of the things going to do this. Um, is it worth going for a resource thing to try and upgrade, like, hot house insulation or houses, but we won't be able to build houses and get enough resources? Generator efficiency upgrade. Further 10%. Yet yeah, that could actually be quite useful. Let's get these engineers back, please. Sorry, sorry, gentlemen, but we do need you on the job. That one can turn off. What I'm saying is, we can go for generator efficiency upgrade. There's no buns available. Oh, yeah, they turned off. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. There we go. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. Steelworks is actually not needed at the moment because we've stacked up so much steel. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close these. Get these turned off, get them closed for now. And we could get some, we've still got some wood. We are going to stack up as much uh, coal collection as possible. And we've actually got food, but we can have. Well, we might as well chuck a few people on food. We've got three bodies spare. Eh, chuck them on faith, chuck them on some healing. That'd be useful. What I would like is actually those resources. Resource depot and just make one for food because that way we can have actually have a nice storage of uh, rations once they're cooked. How are we doing on coal? We're doing all right. We should be able to stock up enough for the storm. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bloody cold and now. Fast are coming up. These are almost home. Love it. Bang. Oh, right. Steam core, baby. Oh, three steam cores. Get back to base. Please see so if you can get back. One day, three hours, they will just make it. Get your ass back, man. That's massive, though, having steam cores available. I'm loving that. I'm loving it. That is huge, though. It's a really big win. Too cold, though, is it? It's quite chilly. We're doing fine, all things concerned. Now, we've been hit with this just before the storm. A storm on the horizon, though. The people are returning. 
But the biggest thing, right? These things produce. Ooh, that's no. Yeah, we can make. So these things produce what? Two forty wood a day or something, or thirty one point seven an hour. With the with the steam thing, they can produce six hundred a day or something crazy. Uh, we can actually make some wood now. Uh, we're doing okay on food, so what we do is we stack some people in there and start producing some wood again. I think that'd be useful. Final warning: people are desperate. People talking about everything. We must hold on for a couple more days. I've oh, got to raise hope. I can raise hope. There you go. Buying some food rations. Discontent will fall. Hope will rise on some guns. People may be injured. Um, we're okay. We raised a little bit of hope. We've got to raise a bit more hope. Can we raise more hope? Can we raise more hope, baby? Oh, food. Food for food. Food rations. Cool. We are doing okay. We're still in this. We're still in this. We're not dying for anything yet. We've got fuel coming in. At least it's going to rise before the storm hits. Right, efficiency upgrade has been done. Mm. God, that's expensive. Those steam hubs get expensive. Initial scout team. That's pretty useful. Coal mines get an extra 10%. Efficient gathering. Hot house insulation. House, but we can't really afford to build that many. Not the man. Hot house insulation. And that keeps food coming in. Industrial hot house. Oh gosh. Heating's rare. They want to just generate a power upgrade. It's triple when using this setting, but it will actually keep us hot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, when this this thing drops up to sixty, we'll be able to knock off some of the heat as well. Oh yeah, I see. We was turn up. Oh, forgot about that. Whoopsie doodles. Forgot that everyone was freezing to death. I forgot they were freezing to death. Shiza. We actually do need these down for when the storm arrives. Four levels. So we drop four levels. That's going to be minus 100. Sugar. On oh, toast. What the hell are we going to do? It's not dying, man. And these guys are almost back and we've got resources. I think we've got a nice chunk of stuff. We've got some coal as well. We'll take it. There we go, lovely. We shall take it. Um, five more people. Um, oh, I'll just chuck them on food for now, then I guess. So we do it. Four days there. Um. The facility has been closed. Oh Christ! Should have been cutting wood with the altar. Yeah, beacons, no yeah, good. Um, right. Is it minus sixty now? Certain things will be warm. We can. Oh, that's not even be used. So we can cut that off. Oh, that field kitchen. Keep them going. Oh no, we have to keep them on. We don't need it on the infirmary. We don't need it on the hot house. Oh no, we do. We don't need it on the care home. No, we do. Oh, we don't need it on these though. No, we kind of do actually, don't we? That's fine. We can still keep that. Is that gone to number three? Not yet. But we do. We've got about four days, so we will be able to go on to the stronger things. Come on, stay on, stay on target, stay on target. Bit of Star Wars there. We will get through this next storm. I swear it. About four days. Ooh, what's that? Protector of the truth, doubter. Captain, a group of believers is here. They brought a man who is dead to ask questions after your words were delivered to the faith last night. The belief in the captain's word is obsolete. What shall we do with him? Teach him a lesson. The truth must be defended. This man will hurt. Hope will rise slightly. Release him. My words need no defenders. Raise hope. Oh, we almost got hope. Come on. Come on. Give me some hope. Give me some hope. Ah, hope has risen. I've risen hope. God damn the Oh, yeah. We've actually got Book of Laws. We can go. The temple. The temple. Should we build it? Let's build it. The temple. I like the temple to look quite cool as well. So we could put it near the faith healers. The temple is pretty um pretty cool though. I actually want to put it out of the way so we can make it quite flashy later. The temple. 
Yeah, is there any way to place? Oh, we can place it. Uh, I think the best place might be over here. We can place it about there. Oh, it's near the cemetery, actually. So that would actually suit the temple and the cemetery being quite close to each other. We can make it fancy later. There we go. Generator power upgrade was reached. No, stick at two for now. We'll hit three once we need to. Um, damn. Don't know what to go for. We've got resources. Coal mining. More coal would be quite useful, I think. More coal. We're almost hitting the capacity on that son of a bitch. It means actually mine that shite tool, which is fantastic. I like it. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, this is... <laughs> right, what's going on? Eating right, angry about the cold. Spurs the goddamn crowd. God's sake. They know a storm is literally coming on the horizon. It's going to be like minus 100. Are you freaking retarded? Well, they are retarded. They're really sport. Right. Just... We are going to have enough fuel. It's, that's only going to raise it, though, by four levels. So we're still going to be stuck at minus 60. Temple has been built. Ceremonial service. Do it. Do it. There we go. Good stuff. Raise the whole baby. Go. Cool. We are going to have to shut everything down for this. We're going to shut it down. Shut it all down. Because everything's going to get turned off soon. Because of the got darn storm. Just gosh damn storm. Well, turn it off. Turn it off. That's when you turn off. Temple's fine. You need to go down. So all of these things are down. Oh, we've got some bodies, haven't we? Crap. Available. Yeah. It was just people who were injured. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we will get the infirmary heated. Nothing's going to be mined, but we should be okay. We're also going to go power level three as of now. It should. Should get there. There we go, right. So there is warmth hitting us. We'll try and stay alive as long as we can. Don't think we can. Get that steam thing turned off, steam hub off. That hub can stay on. That can go down because is that shut? Is that dead? Should be dead now. Everyone should be away from the workplaces basically. So they can just sit there and stay warm. Let's go minus mine is 100 though. This is going to suck major balls. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe this. It's going to be so bad. Holy shite. Right. That can go 24 hour. That can go 24 hour. Oh, range setting. Does it make a difference? If we... oh, I haven't got the range setting scrap. Oh my god, this is so bad. Yeah, I know. Everyone's freezing to death. I know. Wait for the coupling to go down. I know. It's freaking cold. It's freaking cold. It's freaking cold. It's really freaking cold. Come on. Get that get that down and then we can turn it on. I know someone's got frostbite. It's freaking cold. Yeah, we must do something. I know. Oh my god, 95 people are freezing to death. Turn on the goddamn heat. Turn on the override. Right. So, sir, change of heart. Sir, man was found crying silently in the temple. We approached him to ask if he needed help. He told us he wanted to see you. I thought my faith died long ago, sir, with my wife and daughter in London. I couldn't see any purpose in our new life. In the fact, Simon, but today when I entered the temple, I saw a future with us, now I'm ready to face it. Why'd you come here then? If you saw no right to fight for survival, why would you even go? I, I doubt his, about his faith. I doubt it. I doubt it. Right. Uh, oh, infirmary check. This infirmary will heal 15% faster. That's pretty good. Hot houses. Heating, 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 heating. Generator range upgrade. Advanced heaters. That's probably quite useful. Is that on range level 2? Would it actually make a difference? Well, I don't think it's going to make a difference, is it? No, don't. Because it will literally cut us down to two days fuel. State of three. I know it means they're a bit chilly, but we've got to think about survival and after the, the battle. We can't see the, the couplings on all the time, though. Override is not good for its health. 
But people are being healed in the infirmary, that's important. Let's come tense down, that's good. Oh my god, it's freaking cold. Nighttime obsession, cool. So hope is up, discontent is down. This is good. Oh god, there's a couple of things are getting higher. Hopefully, we can heal enough people to be out of the infirmary so it don't just all die in one go. We have to turn this off about six in the morning, maybe or five. Okay, back to freezing to death. Sorry, folks. And now, next thing will be to build houses. Purpose. Well, just occasionally those discontent cover a small amount of resources. Oh, cool. Might get some resources, it'd be useful. We have no food at this point now. We're just absolutely kebabbed. We're not doing well. A trip from a believer. Captain told uh, neighbor talking about hold. Some supplies will be recovered. Well done. Recover those supplies. God damn it. Oh, we got stolen supplies. What did we actually get? I don't know. Something useful. For sure. Cool. That seat is done. We haven't got enough resources for anything else. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut these down. Shut these down and send them home. That way they can just sit in the houses like everyone else and freeze to death. We're still surviving just. Oh my god. Can't wait till we get to the point where we're self sufficient. Discontent is rising, I know. I know. We're just going to wait. Right, we're going to heat. Let's do it override. The heat is here. So people aren't freezing now and they're getting healed. They are hungry though, which is obviously bad. So next morning everything will heat up, so what we're going to do, we can put everything back to operational, even if there's no one in it. We can get everything back online. That's the plan. We will get everything and everyone working. Get as much resources as possible back into the ship, back into us. We'll also get our scouts back out there to you know, get some work done. It's needed for sure. And we should, 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 should be okay to basically survive. This will switch back down to the 10 hour workday, and that will stay on 24 hour because that is pretty useful, even though it's not really doing too much at the moment. About a day, but that's fine because obviously we'll be getting cold and stuff back. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We've really got four levels, so we're back to minus 60, which is basically nothing now. We've got used to this. It's not nothing, but it's a lot better. There we go. Massive difference. We are going to have to, so if we look at the coal usage, we're going to have to go back down to level two. Just to keep going. But I do think we need to maybe build. Oh, I ain't got enough wood, but it will come through. What we'll do is we'll actually we need workers. Let's just strip these people off here. There we go. Cool. Children. Turn that one off there. Um, oh, we ain't got enough wood. Get them on wood. Get them on collecting wood then for now. We are low on resources in that sense, which sucks. We should be okay. Fuel up like how much coal gain? It's down. Take the override off. Oh, turn that back on. Coal furnaces. The last storm covered all the furnace with a thick layer of ice causing dramatic fall. All steel works will be 70% less efficient. That's not too bad for a hazard. I've seen worse ones. We're still burning more than we should be, actually. Some of these things won't be needed to be so hot. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to turn these off because we definitely don't need to be that warm. Hot house either. Uh, mm, no, the hot house probably should be quite warm. Uh, you definitely don't need to. Oh, you're freezing. Okay. Wait, is that still on? That's why, because the bloody steam thing was on you don't need them on all the time do these need it on i don't think they do oh yes they do because they'll start freezing to death fair enough <laughs> okay that's that's fair i don't want them to freeze to death okay cool right what's going back in what's this shipwreck camp because of the storm the bloody forest is now quite nice if you get any wood from the royal pain that's the workers no not there's not in the half member also on the tools. My burnt wood chips and barrels they pull the ice, which is slowly going. We should use coal, we can't afford it. Emergency aid will be unlocked. Exchange with six for three days for exchange with shipwreck camp will stop for three days. Okay, well that's I don't have any thing from it anyway, so that's 
freaking pointless, you douchebag. Anyway, we're not researching anything much now, so we might as well take these guys out. Uh, we need workers, for sure. Take the workers off there, get the engineers on. It's, oh, what? It's 40 wood? Oh, son of a bitch. All right, chuck them in the coal mines for now. Screw it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still five bodies there getting hunting until we get enough wood. Actually, we can get that. Put it on the emergency shift. We need lots of wood, basically. Gonna start smashing. Anyway, we survived that storm. We're gonna finish the fourth video there. That was that was freaking insane. <laughs> I don't even know how we're still alive, but we are. We do need to find more survivors, preferably, but I don't know if we will. But we, probably the, that's the longest I've survived in a long time. So hopefully we can keep going. We have got the steam cores. Getting a getting a steam powered one of these would be great, and also a factory and maybe getting some automatons popped out to relieve some of our our people to do other things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. You guys have. Fantastic evening.